It is winter 2002 in the Dominican Republic. David Ortiz is just days removed from being released by the Minnesota Twins and is having lunch in his native homeland. A player with a big heart, a powerful swing, and incredible potential waiting for an opportunity to shine in the show stage. All Ortiz needed was a chance. That chance came to him in the form of lunch with an old friend. That chance was Pedro Martinez. Pedro asked his compadre how he was doing, only to find out he had been released from Minnesota and his future in baseball was more than uncertain. Moments later, Pedro was on the phone with Red Sox owner and CEO, Larry Lucchino. Martinez made a historic sales pitch to the ownership to bring his pal to Boston. It didn't take long for Pedro's wish to be granted. In January 2003, David officially signed with the Red Sox, and it is safe to say he made the most of his opportunity. them out and there's no turning back it's for the better baby i deserve more than empty words and promises i believe everything you said and i gave you the best i had oh so take a star appearances, nearly 480 Red Sox home runs and three world championships later, David Ortiz is ready to write the final chapter to his illustrious career in Boston. As playoffs were about to begin, Red Sox fans stood poised for one final goodbye from their Fenway faithful. It was an occasion filled with reluctance, but the potential playoff run allowed fans to let go of their grief to focus on winning the pennant. All right, so we're here live at Fenway Park for David Ortiz's regular season finale on his beloved 13-year career here in Boston. A little chilly, but I think it is going to be a huge tune-up for Poppy and the Red Sox going into the 2016 playoffs. As Fenway faithful gets to say goodbye to their beloved DH. I want to thank everyone for being here today. I want to thank all of you, the fans. Great day ceremonies as Ortiz left the field in the ninth inning to a standing ovation. The regular season is 
over in order to the Red Sox prepare for the Indians in the first round of the playoffs starting on Thursday. Go Sox! After cruising to a division crown and a playoff berth, Ortiz and the Red Sox met some old friends in the American League Divisional Series, the Cleveland Indians. Although Boston showed flashes of hope and determination throughout the series, their bats and pitching staff was unable to kick it into gear. Cleveland took the momentum early in the series and never looked back. In Game 3 at Fenway, the Tribe eliminated the Red Sox handily. It was a clean sweep in dominant fashion. The winning runs at first and Dustin Pedroia. And the guy trying to save Boston's season is Travis Shaw. The payoff pitch. Swung on a high fly ball. Shallow right. Chisinau is there. He makes the catch. David Ortiz out on the field being mobbed by photographers, waving his cap to the crowd. He's around the first baseline now. And there are maybe 30 camera people out there with him. David looking around at the entire audience here, I would say. What unfolded next would seem to be one of the most emotional moments in Red Sox history and even all of Boston sports. His final steps on the iconic grass of Fenway Park defined the impact he had on an entire sport, fan base, city, and nation in this powerful moment. I first saw David Ortiz as a Minnesota twin. I lived in Minnesota. It was in the 90s, and I went to many games and, and, and loved them. They called him Big Daddy there, and somehow we ended up in, in Boston, and that's when he really started to shine. I, I think two things about David Ortiz. One, he perhaps is the most clutch baseball player in the history of baseball. Break the curse. Um, he was phenomenal. He was unbelievable. Um, a lot of the Ted Williams rooters will say that Ted Williams was the greatest Red Sox player ever that, that'll always be open to debate. David Ortiz, however, was the greatest clutch hitter. He had more clutch hits, brought them three World Series, and what he did in the clubhouse, in the community, and on the field can never be replaced at all. The other thing about David Ortiz is, and, and this is the intangible, often people can't do this, but he did. He was a leader. He was a true leader. Not just probably his most iconic moment when he grabbed the mic several years ago after the Boston Marathon bombing and uttered those magic words, but to drive them to the championships that they had, especially with Manny Ramirez on the team, you needed a true leader. And, and he was that leader, he was that voice. So when you combine the leadership of Ortiz and probably the most clutch player in the history of baseball, you have a Hall of Famer. He was easily the greatest factor in ending the curse of the Bambino and helped the city heal and revive after senseless acts of terrorism. He brought joy to an entire region and inspired others to express themselves with passion. Affectionately known as Big Poppy, his fatherly influence touched countless people through his actions and charitable acts. His presence provided a powerful light in people's lives and his image became a symbol of hope and solidarity. At the age of 40, David led the league in multiple offensive categories and his final season looked like that of a champion rookie. 2016 was the culminating performance of what has been one of the greatest offensive careers in baseball history. All he had needed was a chance. He certainly capitalized on the greatest of gifts, that life-changing phone call from his buddy Pedro. The fans of Red Sox Nation reluctantly said goodbye to their big slugger. Boston will never be the same. It will always be his city. <laughs>